This video is gonna tell you why websites suck are, and are outdated and you're being sold the wrong information as a real estate agent and why the sales funnel is so much better. First of all, hi, I'm Krista Meshire. I've been in real estate for 22 years now. Sold over 2,300 homes. I averaged 135 homes a year while I was practicing during those 17 years. And I'm a coach and I teach agents how to dominate their markets utilizing digital marketing, video, and social media. So today we're gonna to talk about why you need a funnel and why a website is completely outdated. First of all, I want you to think about a traditional website, right? Why are people going? Are they going there to find out about a home? Are they going there to find out about you? Are they going there to research school districts? Are they going there to, to learn about um, what the fun things are in the area? Are they going there to search properties? Why are they going to your website? You don't have a clue, okay? You have no idea why somebody's going to your website. So you're spending all this time on Facebook, Instagram, social media, YouTube, Reels, TikToks. People are coming in to your world. You're generating leads. Hopefully you should be putting them in your CRM and you should be tagging them so you know who they are. But when they're just going straight to your website, you don't know why they're there. Why is this important for you to know why they are there? Because they're like hitting a brick wall but you're hitting a brick wall because you don't know how else to serve them, what else to give them that they're interested in. Research shows the more that your content speaks directly to somebody, the more it will convert, okay? So what do I mean by that? I mean, if I'm thinking about selling, I'm not looking for buyer information. If I'm thinking about how do I improve my credit, I'm not thinking about how to sell. I want more information about how to improve my credit. When, you, when they go to your website, you have no idea why they are there. Now let's compare that to a funnel, okay? Now you're spending again all this time, you're bringing people in to all these different places, okay? So at this point now, I'm gonna be running campaigns on Facebook or I'm gonna be making offers on either Instagram or TikTok or whatever your lead source is. My favorite is Facebook Ads Manager, all right? And Instagram. So we'll generate traffic and we'll have specific types of content that we're creating. Now I know that if I up here create a video that talks about selling, and people are coming through and, and they're watching my videos and they're consuming my content, I then capture that lead and I know exactly what that lead is interested in. Now I can then put more information in front of that lead, more buyer content for buyers, more seller content for sellers, more area specific content for people looking for a specific neighborhood, more credit repair content for people looking how to improve their credit. Is that making sense? Now, the more that I can, now I'm gonna nurture those people. If somebody comes in and they're, they're watching a video on selling, now I'm gonna educate them and increase my authority and nurture them and keep giving them more value about that same thing, okay? And the more likely that I give them more information about that same thing, what am I doing? Again, I'm elevating my authority, showing that I'm the expert, developing a relationship, nurturing them, adding trust, all of those things are happening. So now what happens is once I've done that, now I can drive traffic, the right kind of traffic, meaning I can say, this lead is a seller. They're gonna go to a seller seminar. This lead is a buyer. I'm gonna invite them to a buyer seminar. This lead wants to learn about credit. I'm gonna invite them to a credit repair seminar, okay? This lead lives in this neighborhood and wants to learn more about this neighborhood. I'm gonna invite them to a specific community funnel on that, all right? Now when I do this, now what's gonna happen is now they're gonna be scheduling an appointment. They're saying, oh my gosh, like, they're, this is this is exactly what I want. This is the person I want to learn it from. They're giving me all this information, all this value. They're educating me. Now they're going to make an educated choice by choosing you because of all the work that you did beforehand, okay? And then they're, they're going to sign a contract. But here's the deal. Once this sale happens, you have to continue to nurture. You have to continue to educate. You have to continue to show up. And if you do that, then you're going to get more repeat business more people are gonna relist with you, more people are gonna refer you that you don't even know because you're constantly showing up and adding value about the community. Not about you, not about how great you are, not about how they should hire you, about the community. I'm Krista Mayshur. If this is helpful for you, do me a favor, give me a like and subscribe, send it to someone that you know, and let me know what else you would like me to discuss. Hope this is helpful. Bye. If this was helpful for you, do me a favor, sign up for my three-day virtual event. We go over 
funnels in great, great detail. We show you how to attract buyers, how to attract sellers, how to get people to raise their hand to want to work with you. And then we show you our 11 step process and what we do before we actually show up on a listing appointment to make sure we get the listing every single time. Uh, so sign up. I'm Krista Basher and I'll see you there. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.